How's it going, boys? Today we are playing Please Yes. It's a Discord server icon. Join the Discord if you haven't and like the video, I guess. Finally, I actually remembered to say that even. So, this is a pretty simple deck. It has been floating around Discord periodically. Everyone wants me to do this or the Particle Accelerator. accelerator. The problem is I need to choose one because the Particle Accelerator deck will pretty much is the best fitting in the, the, this type of deck also. So it's going to be a little bit boring. So three Fountains of Renewal, two, three Sorcerer's Swans, three Famished Paladins, two Lightning Strikes, two Guys Blessings, four Treasure Mops, four Deafening Clarions, four Exons Bindings, two Settled Wreckage, four Treasure Troves, two Immortal Suns, four Stars of Extinction, a bunch of lands, two Fields of Ruin, and 24 lands in total. Oh yes, good stuff. Okay, so the combo is easy. You get a Paladin, you put a Wand on him, and then you just cast Deafening Clarion. Uh, previous to that, I actually had, uh, can I actually find it now is the question. Uh, the, the, the thing that makes, uh, the thing, it's a three cost card, right? Yes, here. Unbreakable formation instead of lightning strike because, you know, it makes things invulnerable and whatnot. And that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's definitely a thing that we can do. Okay. So, let's just play the deck. Team Fight Tactics is, is out, and some of you know it because we already played the Discord group of people in it. We didn't even get Max Sluts, though. We were only five? Five people, I think? So that's fine. But yeah. Okay, a treasure map and a treasure trove and a wand and found... This is not bad. This is definitely not bad. Should work wonders against... Um, what, what, Nissa? No, this is not Nissa, this is some other elf bitch. Well, whatever. Okay, found in the Frenul against an aggro deck. What a time to be alive, boys. At least that gives us a chance, but wait, that's a Steamkin! Huh? Huh? Okay, it's not a Steamkin. Why? You're, you're in red aggro deck. You usually get Steamkins right off the bat, but I, I guess that's fine. So, we're gonna see what happens. Four, three red lands, yes, and now he's starting to lightning strike. So he, he just had, you know, only thing that things that do things like that. Oh god, secured the critics and everything. You see, this is why you put Fountains of Renewal in your decks. This is definitely why you put Fountains of Renewal in your decks. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna have a bad time. You know, sometimes. Okay, I'm actually gonna drop this now. It's not exactly good to drop it, because it doesn't really do anything on its own, but it, considering that's a red deck player, aka don't, they don't exactly aspire in the IQ department, he will most likely, as you can play clearly see here, use some of his infallibly valuable resources, uh, you know, to just get rid of that. And, you know, I needed to do that like this, but it's fine, it, it's, fi it's, it's fine. No, no one cares. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So, oh god, risk factor. Take action. Oh yes, risk fast. The risk factor. Completely not overpowered. Completely not overpowered, boys. And that's a lot of burn spells. Not gonna lie. Okay. Can't click on cards. Game, please. Am I lagging or something? It doesn't seem like I'm lagging, but but the feel feel is there, and it's not good. Good. Okay. So we're not gonna play that. We're just gonna play the Immortal Sun because we need to start looking for those uh, sweet good old uh, fountains of renewal. Because well, the more fountains, the better chances, honestly. Because he's gonna risk factor again. God, risk factor is so overpowered. It's like, if you get two risk factors up against a control deck and you're red aggro, you pretty much have already guaranteed the fact that you have one. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. This guy is not lucking out, like, at all, you know? Completely. Not at all. N not, not at all. N not one, one tiny bit. But the good fact, uh, the good part is we can excellence binding this thing, so that's at least a bonus point. Okay. So, anyway, the Fountain of Renewal is the only thing that is currently keeping us in the game, magically. I know. I know. 
Hold risk factors, resolve, and sadly take action. Okay, I think he's honestly on his last ropes, but that's fine. Guys, blessing. Uh, more things. Now we're gonna draw a card, because that's the smart thing to do. Well, I have never actually been known for the smart thing to do, but you know, times are changing? Maybe? Just maybe? Yeah, so I'm gonna use the guy's blessing. We want all the combo pieces back in the deck, because, you know, it's like, it's pretty much now or never, honestly. We could die any moment now, because it's a red deck. And there's nothing we can do, there's not, if he just finds a, ma a risk, oh, he just gives up. Woo! If I did not have a Fountain of Renewal there, I would have 100% lost. But thankfully, Fountains of Renewal exist. So, let's just play more. Again, this is a pretty easy combo to pull off. And it works obviously the best in a control deck. With healing and draw power and everything. AKA the treasure, uh, the tre uh, the treasure trove uh, a draw engine deck. Which is again, is a little bit a lot underrated, but that's fine. Okay. Some pieces of the puzzle have been found, that's reasonable. Got a turn 1 play, got a turn 2 play, and got a start of extinction, which is usually castable very easily. Uh, if you're playing this sort of deck with treasure maps, because treasure maps flipped give 4 mana. And that's a, well, that's a lot of mana. Okay, let's start off with the wand. You know, let's just completely instantaneously show this opponent what we're all about. Oh yes, the sorceress wand. Do this. Bye bye, treasure map. I wish you the best in life. Well, actually, I, I like you so much, I'm just gonna instantaneously get you back. Ta da! How is this not pre recorded, by the way? He's gonna drop an. Oh no. I thought he's. <laughs> that sucks! Okay. Someone's a ginormous dick. But, you know, I'm not exactly... Well, I am complaining, but, you know, you get the point. Okay, so now the point is need to drop a treasure trove pre... Hey, this is a full-blown discard deck, it seems like, but it's uh, it's too late. It's it's sadly just too late. A found in the Frenul is not going to be exactly needed now, because he most likely has no direct damage. Of course... Damn it. Damn it, that's actually really sad and bad, but hey, that's fine. Okay, let's see what we actually get. A Paladin. Does that even work? No, bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I am looking for. Oh! Shit makes me so mad, bruh. Shit makes me so mad. Discarding an Immortal Sun. We could have already had an engine in Immortal Sun, but no, this guy decided to be a complete asshole about life. So yeah, uh, good stuff. Good stuff right there, lads. Deafening Clarion. A at least that's gonna be good. At le honestly, at least that's good. So yeah. Deal the three damage. This thing needs to die. Thankfully, he's not really good at dealing damage. This is all that deals damage. And chances are we're finding something that deals with it. Because again, we have a flipped treasure map, and there's still a good chance to find a treasure trove. So, you know. Eh. And whatnot. Eh. And whatnot. Okay, let's see what happens now. Uh, it's a land. Not exactly great. Okay, so, not using any of this just yet. Do I take the damage if there's equal card uh, cardage? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Well, I found enough renewal. Do I even drop it? I don't think so. Honestly, don't think so. Okay, let's see what we find here. Anything good? Well, actually, yes. This does deal with that guy. But do I want it? Ah. Uh, really hard to tell. I'm gonna be taking one damage, but he's gonna use cards. Not drawing any more cards. Okay, it seems like the best efficiency is just for now this. Okay, so he's most likely gonna use the minus one now. He plays lands, what a champion. Oh no, he's actually just, you know, letting this happen on its own. Okay. So, a treasure map, finally. Good, 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 good. Well, actually, treasure maps are not ex the greatest currently, but hey, good enough. 
A mountain? A mountain is not needed. Okay, so equivalent card amount. Good stuff. Okay, so one, two. We need a little bit more than we can honestly do the combo. We need six mana. And essentially, the bad part is this guy here definitely has... Okay, probably should have scryed first, but that's fine. No one cares. Definitely Clarion, that's actually pretty, pretty decent. Okay, let's just get rid of everything here. Okay, let's see what happens now. He plays a card, he does nothing. This guy annoys me because his deck is just so, so iffy. Okay, the treasure map is gonna go flip. Uh, Fountain is a renewal. Do I want one? Actually, I do. I'm just that kind of person. I really like my Fountains of Renewal. Okay. So now we have drawn a Fountain of Renewal. And you know what? It doesn't really do too much here now. But it definitely gonna, it's definitely going to create him that needless feeling of anxiety. Because his, his dumb deck is not doing exactly the dumb things his deck, dumb deck does want to do. But, I, but we're slowly healing. So, you know, that's that's nice. Also, getting the mana. Don't even need to do the treasure troves just yet. Or maybe I should. Probably I should have. But, you know, should have, would have, could have. Discard the card. Yes, that was expected. And we're going to discard the Fountain of Renewal. He's going to play a new. Yes. There it is, lads. There it is! Okay. Yeah, you can do that all you want, but I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I was completely prepared for that. He was just looking for a new one. Also, I'm gonna draw cards because I want to see what we can actually find here. I kind of I kind of want to keep everything. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, discard cards. I want to get rid of... Sun Petal Grove is not exactly needed. Okay. So now... It's a discard deck, a pretty bad one at that, and now we just have a mortal sun. Good luck, enemy Kun. You're honestly gonna need it. Because I'm drawing two cards per turn. <sighs> yeah, this, this when when I kill this guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel pretty good about myself, not gonna lie. Okay, I need something that kills planeswalkers. Okay. They're healing up slowly, just gonna keep the mountain. God, this is such a slow thing. He, he got rid of the immortal sun. I can't really do too much against that. Okay, gonna drop this. Let's pretend that we have things. All we need to do is find a treasure trove and suddenly, well, bam! Magically, we're drawing two cards per turn. Okay, that's fine. Definitely Clarion. Start of extinction because he most likely has more dumb planeswalkers. So, yeah, that's a thing. And again, the, that feeling when you're constant, your mana is constant, well, well, not mana, but HP pools constantly just, you know, ticking up. Pretty detrimental. Pretty detrimental. Good game, good game indeed. But I have way more things in this game that draw me cards than you, because I understand what that, that, that deck is. Okay, pretty deep, pretty deep. Honestly, against decks like this, I also think that I should, uh, ah, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. No one cares. It's just a dread horde butcher hitting for one. I'm gonna, you know, meet your ass because of reasons. Okay, I should have probably done the scrying first. Actually I could Ixalon's binding at the Damn the amount of lands is not even funny. Do I Ixalon's binding it? Or do I start of extinction? I think I just, just Ixalon's binding it for the uh, for the time being. Seems like a good choice. Doesn't even do the two extra damage to me. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put this so I can scry properly with the treasure map. Let's see what happens. Does he have an Ashiok? That's like a very good question. Does he have an Ashiok? Seems like no. An Ashiok would be a little bit detrimental, but that's fine. Uh, yes, that's actually the full combo assembled, boys. Okay, draw. I wonder does he have counters for it. He most likely does. It's a bit annoying playing. Okay, double wands, you say? Double wands, you say. Okay, there's the treasure trove also. 
So this guy is definitely donezo if he can't deal with this. Does he understand what combo this is, by the way? I have a feeling he doesn't. But anyway, now we have double uh, sorcerer swans, you know, in case one wasn't exactly enough. The question is, does he really have... Oh! Oh! Ogenkun! Ogenkun! Ogen! He, he got... Okay! Yeah, that's completely fine. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. Yep, yep, okay. Wow, uh, Ugin everyone. What a card, he actually targeted the right thing. So he definitely knows what's up with the combo here. He definitely knows what's up with the combo. We still have a lot of combo pieces still though, and chances are he's running a little bit low on ways to counter them. And we still have an Immortal Sun in the deck, so, you know, stuff and whatnot, pretty cool. Exelon's Binding, you know what? I didn't. I, I wanted to establish a lot of dominance against Dugan with my uh, good old Star of Extinction, but it seems like I'm not gonna do it. It seems like, no, that's actually the wrong thing. Use the correct mana, please, game. Thank you. Okay, so what do we want back? We want back this, we want back this, and we want the combo piece back. Okay, so... Uh, it's going slowly, but steadily, and I guess that's all that counts. We're dealing with him, and he's just, you know, slowly, slowly fatality uh, style, you know, just... Go, go, going for, uh, going for the fact that you know he's he's not gonna have a good time. He he knows what the deck is. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, you can get yourself killed now. Thank you. This is why we have lightning strikes, by the way, in the deck. It's it's really good. Okay, yeah, still have a start of extinction. Still still drawing two cards per turn. Still have lands and whatnot. Misplays, whatever. Okay, so. <clears throat> A treasure is made. 24 or 5 cards in the deck. It is going... Oh, baby. You know what? That captivated audience doesn't exactly do too much against me. Uh, why? Because, uh, let's see. Each opponent, blah, 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 zombies. Okay. One person may think that's, that's pretty, that, that's, that's, that's pretty decent, right? But, you know, sadly, no. I don't want to use the treasure mobs though, that's like the only bad part here. Okay, is it still gonna, yes, it's still tapping the treasure mobs, what a champion game. Okay, and gonna target the crypts. Okay, that was a very well played, captivated audience, my friend. Boom. Hopefully he doesn't magically just kill me on the low HP part. That would that honestly be pretty detrimenting. Okay, let's see. Exelon's Binding. I really don't want to get rid of Exelon's Binding, though. I really don't. I really, really don't. Okay, are we gonna take the... I think we're gonna take the HP part now, right? No, discarding my hand is not exactly bad at this point. Okay. Uh, Field of Ruin. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep it. Man, this is one long game. This is one long game, Deafening Clarion, okay. A combo piece has been hit. Uh, no combo pieces have been hit, that's fine. Okay, as long as he doesn't magically kill me on the, on the low HP end of things, it's gonna be fine. But it doesn't look like he even has anything that deals damage in that way. In that sense, you know, so that's pretty good. Okay, another Sorceress Wand. I'm getting a little bit too many wands for my own liking. Okay, now your life total becomes 4, it's fine. Should be still alive. Should be definitely still alive. Let's drop this and... No, no. No, do not use the wrong lands again, game. It's really annoying. Okay. And let's draw this because I want to see what happens. Okay, now we're drawing 3 cards per turn. Okay, now we're dropping, drawing a little bit more cards per turn. Okay, so seems seems pretty reasonable, right? Everything I do seems pretty reasonable to an extent if you're mad enough. And let's just drop the Sorcerer's Wand because, uh, why not? Why not, lads? 
Okay, boom, boom, boom. Pretty good. Okay, does he kill me with some kind of random one spell? Nah, he does not have direct damage. Yeah, this guy is pretty done. Well, we kind of knew that this guy was done from the moment it was a discard deck, because discard decks are god-awful pieces of, you know, human filth. But in general, still, point being. Okay, drawing that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, pr that's well, the land is not really good, but hey, that's fine. So let's see, does enemy kun actually do anything to our vampire kun? Ugh. Good stuff. Okay, more lands. That, that, that's, that's valiant and whatnot. Okay, still tapping the treasure, the treasure coves I see. Okay, in that case, just gonna have to manually tap the lands like a goddamn barbarian, but you know, that's also fine. I have been called first names in my life. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's three ones. A little bit overkill, but that's fine. Okay, so need to tap this magical thing. It's gonna die, isn't it? I have a feeling it's gonna get killed. No, it's not getting killed. Very interesting. Very interesting. Not really, but you get the point. Okay, so he sees his fatality right there in front of him. Loyal to his Sleen, Sleen Queen. Oh, deal three damage, discard two cards. Don't tell me I'm actually gonna die. No, that's not gonna kill me. Okay, I really need to get those Fountains of Renewal back from the graveyard and whatnot. Jesus Christ, I'm only drawing lands now. Okay, so he has two three, uh, two cries of the Canidium. Okay, that's fine. Well, back to the drawing board, essentially we go because of that. Still not exactly any 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 su substantial losses, so that's cool. Okay, lands. Well, they're essentially back at square one now. But I really doubt that this time he can actually kill this paladin, so that's cool. Also, Cry of the Canarium, you know, annoying, well, but it's fine. Why is my deck only full of goddamn, uh, what's it called, lands at this moment? Ah, oh, guys, Blessing, finally. Finally we hit what we actually wanted. So, we do want to get... Where are the Fountains of Renewal? Whoa, there's actually nothing I want to get. Oh, by the way, secondary win, uh, win condition is Lightning Strike, if anyone's wondering. Okay, it seems like all we want to do is hit... Oh no, here is the Fountain of Renewal. And let's actually just take this also. Why not, you know? Why not at this point? Wait, did I miss a Paladin? No, I did not. Okay, so... Uh, end of combat phase. And finally, we're just gonna flat out kill this guy. Not gonna lie, he deserves death. A lot. You know, just, just a lot. For no reason whatsoever, right? Equip him with three, three sorcery ones because uh, p pressing pressing sixty buttons is not exactly the, the highlight of this deck. If you only have one wand, wand on it, I actually don't know even if two wands or three wands work with it because I have never gotten to this point. People usually just surrender from the control aspect of the deck. Oh, Etali, Primal Storm. Oh, scary. Oh. Please, no, Senpai, do not, do not touch my wee little body and whatnot. Oh, by the way, the Fountain's gonna untap this thing, even, even though it's not exactly tapped. But yeah, you know. Oh, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that, that's over. Only seven cards left in the deck, and every single card was lands. Okay, and now we just do this. Units, creatures, and features get lifelink. Yep, that's that's pretty that's pretty much it. And now we just bombard his face. Ah, oh, feels good. Oh, I actually still only deals one damage. Jesus Christ, I did not know that. Well, sixty clicks it is, lads. Yeah, I only have one more paladin out. Yep, you know that's pretty cool. Okay, at least no. So he has Vraska's contempt in his deck. Okay, so the plan is, 
is actually not really a plan at this moment, but I'm gonna figure something out. Let's see, do we actually burn ourselves if the Atali even hits? I'm not sure. Uh, seems like a no. Okay. So, drawing a bunch of cards. Actually, we do burn ourselves if the Atali hits, but that's fine. Because, you know, start of extinction. I am not gonna let some pitiful goddamn lizard that I love putting in my own decks win us. That is just a far, a far past what I want to do. Okay, so the, uh, so the idea is now we only have one card left in our whole goddamn entire deck that actually deals with this, uh, with this dumb situation. And that's a little bit be problematic, as you can clearly probably tell. Okay, secondary win conditions, milling is also obviously a thing I'm gonna do. Okay, great stuff, great stuff, lads. Four cards left. Okay, let's see, what do we get? Well, obviously, we're gonna get, uh, hit Guy's Blessing, because Guy's Blessing is an integral part of society. Okay, got it. Let's also drop this, just because we can. And let's put this Guy's Blessing back in, and what else are we putting back in? I guess a Deafening Clarion, I guess uh, Lightning Strike. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I am I am as thrilled as you 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 boys are. This is this is the third paladin. After this, I don't exactly have anything that deals with him. So you know, don't tell me he has. Ah, oh, that's actually fine. That that's actually fine. You no, know? you know that that's that's actually legitimately fine. Okay, so just do that. I also need probably something that deals with uh, more Italis if the Atali actually gets hit. Okay, so for the time being, got the Deafening Clarions, got the Stars of Extinctions, blah blah blah. Jesus guys, Jesus Christ, this guy is just pushing us to our own, to our limits. Two cards in deck, he can't force us to draw cards. He can force us to discard the card. Scary, scary, so scary, it's an Angram lads, it's an Angram, so scary, scary boys. Okay. Great stuff. Also, by the way, you can put a Sorin in this deck, but that would require you to splashing in black, which is not exactly the dream. Also, previously, uh, I did have Dive Down. Two Dive Downs, just in case stuff like this happens. Dive Downs are particularly good. Okay, so you can't really even do anything with the Angram Planeswalker, my friend. Just FYI. And I'm not milling myself because the last two cards in my deck are Gaia's Blessings and... Something, I guess. Oh, Gaia's Blessings and Lightning Strike. So yeah. This guy's probably thinking that he can slowly win me on the pure virtue of, you know, something. But no. If we have zero cards in the deck, it just makes it easier for us to a degree. So, you know, bonus points, I guess. Yeah, that's the Lightning Strike, and that's the guy's blessing. Ah, oh, almost self. What? Did I not click? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, time out, boys, time out. Fountain of Renewal Suicide. Woo! Okay! I really fucked that one up now, didn't I? But yeah, you kinda get the point. Pretty easy infinity deck. Pretty, it's, well, it's just spliced into a relatively decent deck with drawing and controlling and whatnot. As you can see, the control part is pretty good. The only thing pulling, uh, uh, the only thing pulling me away from the stars in general, is my own stupidity, but that's fine because we're gonna be playing Team Fight Legends, and we're actually good in Team Fight Legends because it's not our, well, it is RNG based, but it's RNG management. While Magic: The Gathering is just the best RNG wins, and there's no skill involved. So yeah, that could have been better, you know. Not milling myself with the with the guy's blessing could have probably been a little bit better. But it's fine, it's fine. You kind of get how the deck works. It's pretty good, it's pretty fun, it's whatever. So, anyway, this was Quasar 7 Sen. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and already check out my channel, and have a nice day. Bye bye